Jeff, I'm getting concerned. What's going on, man? Well, first of all, excuse me while I just warm my testicle a little. Gets, it gets so cold that one... It does, testicle. yeah, it gets cold. So, listen, before the show started tonight, I was saying, I asked the studio audience... <laughs> anyone in from uh, out of town? And they all went, hey! And then I said, anyone uh, in from L.A.? And they all went, hey! <laughs> Which makes me think that people from L.A. lack a certain civic pride. <laughs> or the people in the studio audience tonight are opportunists. <laughs> oh. Wow. <coughs> this show is getting so complicated, it's almost like Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah. wow. That's cool, man. You should do that all the time. When nah, you're nah, 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 nah. I don't, uh, I don't want to do that all the time. Do you watch the Game of Thrones, Jeff? Big fan of Game of Thrones. Really? Who's your favorite character? The one, the guy. <laughs> no, no, no. Jon Snow. Jon Snow. He's so hot. He's so hot. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. What about Is you? That, uh, who's the actor that plays Jon Snow? That guy. That guy. What's his name? He's been on this show. I did a movie with him. Yeah, what's his name? Kit Harrington. Yeah, that's what I meant, yeah. I he's only very nice. Oh, he's sexy. So nice. So sweet. So sweet. Ooh. He's a nice guy. Oh, yeah, he is. Yeah. Do you know what? Sometimes when you talk quietly, all I can hear is your jaw moving. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, um, I, I haven't quite got over my uh, trip to Japan yet. I'm still a bit jet laggy. Oh, yeah, that was a long trip, man. It's a, a long, long trip. trip. Yeah. Have you ever been to Japan? Oh, a couple times, yeah. Where? Over at uh, 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 Gundam, Gundam's house. Okay, Gundam. <laughs> Gundam. Gundam has a house? I thought yeah, Gundam yeah. was a type of robot. I thought there was a He's lot of a different type. Gundams. No, it's like, it's like a suit. It's really like a machine, mechanized suit, really. It's not really a robot, if you want to get technical about it. So, like, you get inside a Gundam? Yeah, and then you have Gundam style. <laughs> Good night, nerds. Yeah. <laughs>
Right, Jeff? It's not dirty, is it? <laughs> no, it's not dirty at all. <laughs> it's not dirty at all. I, I don't have nipples. Uh, I, I wasn't doing nipples, though. <laughs> because remember, it's not dirty. I understand. Not no, I, I was just, I was, I was uh, feeling the ends of my moustache. Right, I understand. <laughs> My pretend moustache. I've got. Did you know I've got a pretend moustache? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah look, look. Sure. <laughs> anyway, it's not dirty. Ooh, I like that face. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a great day for America, everybody. <laughs> yes. Not, not a great day though for our friends in Italy uh, who were eliminated from the World Cup soccer tournament. Italians were running through the streets, waving their hands in the, in the air, screaming, what's a cup and a go? <laughs> then they heard about the World Cup and they went crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Broadway, I'm very excited about this. Broadway is bracing itself for a new Bill Clinton musical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! It's set to make its debut in New York next month. What would you call uh, the Bill Clinton musical? Uh, here's my suggestion. The sound of... <laughs> yeah, that's good, that's good. You got one? Yeah, yeah. Um, All right. Did her on the roof. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, what about Kiss Me Kate and you too, Brenda? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about uh, guys and dolls and cigars? No. <laughs> How could you? I'm with the audience and the folks at home. Boo, yeah. <laughs> Bill Clinton musical. What about uh, Porgy and Dress? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How about uh, Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Strippers? <laughs> bring in the Noise, Bring in the Strippers. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. All right, I guess. Breast Side Story. <laughs> That, that did good. well. That's good, yeah. 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 One more and that's it. Uh, okay, uh, Greece. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you know, it was, a, it was a big day for the cast of Game of Thrones. No, 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 no. no. I just like doing that. Okay, nobody in Game of Thrones does that. No, no one. But I like doing it because it gives the atmosphere of the show. Game of Thrones. Jeff, you do it. Yeah. Game of Thrones. But they had a very special visitor. Take a look, look, look. Yep, that's right. Her Majesty the Queen. <laughs> what have you got there? Let me see. Ooh. Now, uh, the Queen Elizabeth and the Game of Thrones and the British royal family are very different, of course. One is an incestuous group of dastardly characters who have no bearing on the real world we live in. And the other one, Jeff? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. <laughs> now, a lot, of the, a lot of the royals on Game of Thrones, they get, you know, they get offed. Which leads me to believe this visit was actually arranged by Prince Charles. <laughs> You're right, everyone! Come on, Craig! Boo, Craig! Oh! I feel awful! <laughs> anyway, the Queen actually really got into the tour. At the end, she entered trial by combat and crushed a dude's skull with her bare hands and went, how do you feel now, Charles? <laughs> yeah. Drink your juice, mother. <laughs> He's saying that as his skull is being crushed. Yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't crush his oh, skull. Oh, I understand. Well, she should. Well, do you know, do you, do you follow Ga Game of Thrones? Yes, I love Game of Thrones. Yeah. Ev everybody loves Game of Thrones. Oh, man, that, uh, that Jon Snow guy, he's hot. I like it because you can pretend that you're not watching it for the boobies. <laughs> Which I'm not. <laughs> no, you enjoy the writing, the drama, the intrigue. Yeah, the drama, the intrigue, uh, the horsemanship. <laughs> yeah, horsemanship. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah right, exactly, That's yeah. Right. Is that why you watch it? <laughs> okay. Well, it's gonna be a classy show tonight, I yeah, think. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, yeah. The horse just mimed breasts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, all right, all right. We got it. Very good pectoral muscle control there. Yeah. Um, well, uh, shall we have a commercial break? Yeah, why not?
Tonight's program is brought to you by the new Bill Clinton themed musicals, The Lion King and Ringing Out the Stain. <laughs> Tidying myself up after I was biting my horse. <laughs> see what happened? Did you see that thing today that in the in the World Cup? The guy, the uh, Uruguay, I think it was. The guy uh, bit the other guy. Oh yeah, oh man. Yes, Suarez is that his name? Sure. Yeah. Suarez. He bit. He bit someone. He bit him. He bit him. I didn't know there was. A, I, I didn't know there was a game where you could bite other men. <laughs> oh. Jeff, have you ever been involved in any game where you would bite other men? Many, many times. <laughs> He, he, was, he really took a lump out of him. He drew blood. Yeah, well, it's a very passionate game, Greg. <laughs> yeah, but there are rules to the game, Jeff. Rules. And you can't go around behaving like Dracula. Oh, that'd be great. Dracula is a soccer player. <laughs> well, I'm very excited about the game tonight. Hello? Hello, it's Dracula. Dracula? Uh, how, how's it going? Pretty good. I was just practicing some soccer with my, my, new, my new soccer team. The only problem is we suck. <laughs> hold on a second, hold on a second. Oh, man. Now, now, oh. now that, that wasn't a round of applause thing, so not going <laughs> So, uh, how, many, how many people are in your soccer team? Oh, whoever we can find. No, whoever no, I, how many? How many? Tw Twelve or thirteen. <laughs> three, three, two, one. One person on my team. Two, two people yeah. on my team. Ah, 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 ah. All right. Ah, no, ah, that's ah, not ah, a applause ah, thing. Three. <laughs> are three you still there, Dracula? People, three. I am always here. Well, and you're as bad as the Jay Leno fly. They're pretty good. They're funny. They're funny story. They're funny story. <laughs> well, I hope the Jay Leno fly is replaced by a younger, more enthusiastic fly. Oh, so great. So great. Whoa, so great. This is a great show. Whoa, so great. So great. Whoa, whoa, what a great show. Whoa, whoa, it's great. Awesome. Oh, everything's great. Wow, awesome. We have to get moving. I hope there wouldn't be a, a Liam Neeson fly. Uh, there's no time. Quickly, there's no time. Uh, there's no time. Ah, grenade, grenade, ah, grenade. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? It's street mail time. Time to take advice from a man who enjoys Game of Thrones. <laughs> Uh, this is from Allison. Oh, should we do uh, uh, an email jingle? Yeah, sure. All right, yeah. <laughs> All right I'm going to dress up for it. Uh, what are you doing? Just going to be the same. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. All right. <laughs> email! Shut your face! Right. Yeah. That's my new one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is from Allison. Uh, no, this, this is from Allison. This isn't Allison. This is a bunch of chickens' asses. No, no. Uh, no. Uh, this is from Allison in Weehawken, New Jersey. You ever been there? Weehawken, yeah. Weehawken, you hawken, you know it. Uh, she says, Craig, how many times a day do you floss? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Good one. Oh, man. This is, uh, do you, I know when the, the, the dental hygienist says that to you, uh, do you floss regularly? I'm like, oh, yeah. No, oh, man. You're, you're Scottish. Come on. Please. <laughs> this is from Rachel in Forest Hills, New York. It says, Craig, do you think people are generally good or generally bad? 
<sighs> yeah. Yeah, a little of both, I guess. What do you think? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. It's a yes or... Well, it wasn't a yes or no question, really, was it? <laughs> was it? No. <laughs> this is from Mike in Philadelphia. Ever been there? Oh, uh -huh, Mike. <laughs> Mike says, Craig, isn't Japan amazing and aren't the people just lovely? You know, it, it is, and they are. Uh, this is from Kim in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, a striking-looking woman she is. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Lovely-looking woman. Kim said, uh, Craig, have you considered going into paleontology when you leave your TV show? I have. <laughs> Voila. <laughs> uh, this is from Jacqueline in Newton, Massachusetts, who says, Dear Craig and Robot Jeff, as opposed to what other Jeff? The hell, yeah. man. Is there another Jeff? Yeah, the I, don't I don't know. Maybe, maybe... I don't know. Oh, hello. Hello? Craig, it's Jeff from the future. It's other, it's other Jeff. <laughs> All right. Okay, who are you, who are you talking to, man? Oh, not nothing. Nobody. Who's on the phone? That's not that other Jeff, is it? No, no, no. All There's right. no other Jeff. There's only you, Jeff. I understand. Thanks, pal. I'll be okay, right here. Okay, no worries. Uh, just stay there. All right. Is, hey, that, other is, Jeff? That, is that son of a bitch asking about me? No, no. No, it's fine. He doesn't know anything about us. Yet. Listen, in the future, you become a paleontologist. <laughs> and we dig up bones together. Sexually. <laughs> the hell's good? What was that? All I know is one of you two should calm down. Yeah. <laughs> You hear me? I understand. <laughs> well, tell him. Don't tell me. Uh, okay. All right. Hang on. You too. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, they fell. Uh, all right. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. guest tonight is a best-selling author. An author, Jeff. An author. An so, author. Uh, you know, let's bring the game up a little bit. Let's do it, man. <laughs> his latest book, uh, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll cover up his name, so, and you have to try and guess who it is, right? His, his latest book is called Let's Explore Diabetes with Owls. <laughs> <laughs> and the second clue is, it's uh, now in paperback. That's right, it's David Sedaris! Oh, David, David, David. It's just lovely to see you. I haven't seen you since we were in Scotland together. Uh, in, was that in March, February, March? Uh, it was, a it couple was Dundee. Of years. It was Dundee. We were in Dundee, and it was, uh, it was a couple of years ago, actually. I think. It was nice. We went to a castle. We went to a castle. We had the whole thing to ourselves. We did. We had we dinner together. We could go wherever together. we wanted to go in the Yeah, castle. there were ghosts. <laughs> I made that bit up. I don't think there were... Well, there might have been ghosts. I don't know. We talked about ghosts, and you seemed to dismiss the idea of them rather... I, you know, I hate when people talk about ghosts. I just get... I, I, I get angry when people talk about ghosts. It's like... It's the same when people talk about recipes. <laughs> like when they talk about... When you go to someone's house for dinner, and you say, this is really good, and they say, well, what I've done is I take this and I soak it, or whatever, you know, whatever it is people do. With, I just... I get angry. Well, because I don't... what about a show where ghosts tell you uh, their recipes? That would be doubly Ghost, Because, you know, ghost hunter shows are very popular, and, um, you know, uh, food shows are very popular, so you combine the two of them. 
<laughs> it might not work. It might not work. You I... know what? And they could do a kookity book. Oh! See? See, that's why you're... Book. That's why you're the a number one best-selling author, and yeah. I'm just a vulgar lounge entertainer. <laughs> hey, you've been to Japan, haven't you? I just came back from Japan. I've, um, I'm going again in September. I bet I've been ten times. I love it. Yeah. We try to go the beginning of every year. We call it Japanuary. <laughs> because um, J January is the sunniest month in Tokyo. Is it really? Mm -hmm. And sales are on. It's oh, the sales are on. Is that why you go to Japan for the sales? Might as well. I mean, it, you know, it's a kind of... A, I mean, it's expensive, so you might it as well go, yeah. but I just love it. And Did I'm you buy your, your little September. vest there in Japan? That looks no, like I a... got, I left, I'm on a book tour, and I left my jacket in a hotel a couple of weeks ago, and, you know, it's a different city every day, and so they sent it to Miami, but I was already gone by that time, so I needed a vest, so I went out this morning and bought this. Oh, you vest. bought that in L.A.? Yeah. Oh, it's that's, freedom. it's very nice. No, it's, it's good, but... You, you could probably, you know, get a, a, ja a jacket, too. You're making some no, money. No, no, because <laughs> nothing ever fits me, because I'm we. So that's why I like Japan, because things fit me. Oh, right. You know, I did feel uh, hugely tall when I was there. I was like, yeah. But it really, it is, it's the best shopping in the world. I mean, now, I don't know if what, you Tokyo, shopper. I thought, was lovely. But once I got out of Tokyo, I liked it more. Have you been away from Tokyo into, mm -hmm. you know... Because Tokyo is kind of like New York or, you know, Paris or something, like a giant city but uh and then i went to kyoto that was very nice you been there mm -hmm. hmm. did you go to did you go to uh hiroshima no i didn't go to hiroshima i i it was that was too far down the coast and i was in there for a week but i'd quite like to go there actually next time did you study any japanese before you went uh hi <laughs> this is my favorite because I, I i have i use this uh learn to speak japanese so i, I studied 90 lessons of it but i speak and people only, Japanese people always say, like, mm, you speak like a, a woman. So, no, be, it's a form of... Uh, How do no, I learn this Japanese? No, it's because it, it's, they teach you to be super polite and the way that a woman would be polite. Oh, oh, I and, and, and I actually speak like a female shopkeeper. That's how... <laughs> that's a level of... That's a level of politeness. But, but don't you, to be fair, in English, speak a little bit like a female shopkeeper also? No. Whenever I'm in a hotel and I call down for anything, they say, we'll have that right up, ma'am. But I don't think that I... And my... My brother... I'm so happy to see you again. I haven't my, seen you in uh, such a long time. My brother is not a homosexual, mm -hmm. and his car broke down, and he called for a tow truck, and they Well, if he's not a homosexual, couldn't he just fix it right there on the spot? <laughs> right. You're right. He lives in North Carolina, and he called for a tow truck, and they said, we'll be right out, sweetie. And then they <laughs> showed up to find my brother. <laughs> oh, that's but lovely. my Japanese, this is my favorite Japanese, mm -hmm. because I've studied a lot, and I wound up using the same slogans over and over again. And they make fun of us because we put, we want to say things with such emotion, and they're more flat. But mm -hmm. I like this. Chotto matte kurasai. That means, hold on a second. And so I say that a lot. Chotto matte kurasai. Chotto matte kurasai. Yeah, no, I love that. That's great. I'd like to go, uh, us to go to Japan together. May I come with you next January? I'm available. I think... Because uh, all we do... And I took my sister Amy. Right. Who's been here before? Lovely woman. But she and I can talk each other into anything. So she talked me into a pair of trousers. And they cost... Uh, I'll just say this. Uh, they cost $1,400. Okay. Four pants? And... Okay. Kurasai. Choto mate kurasai. Choto mate kurasai. That's yeah. what I said when I saw the price tag. They come up to my nipples. Are you a low-nippled gentleman? <laughs> no. And so, you know, you have to have suspenders then if your pants... And you have to hide them. Yeah. Because if, otherwise people are looking at you like that. Well, they're looking I... at your pant... You know, they're looking your, at your, your nipples. Line? So that's... I got this vest to cover... Are these the pants? No, 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 no. Oh, right. no. I got to cover the nipple line of the trousers. That well, I that's probably why they were so expensive, because they added fabric to put on past the, the normal and trouser area, you know. When I put my hands in the pockets, I come up to here. <laughs> are they are, magician they trousers? Are, <laughs> they're clown pants. Cl basically, clown yes, pants. I think they're clown pants. Did you get an enormous pair of shoes to go with them? You kind of need an enormous pair of shoes to go with them. No, they're, 
and they're, but they're beautiful, like they're lined yeah. on the inside, but they, they just have belong on a wall. And then I thought, then I have whoa, to wear whoa, them. Whoa, whoa, no, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Put them on a wall? Oh, you know, because they're, 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 they're Just admire them. Yeah. But I went on this tour of the UK, and yes. I thought, well, I have to wear those trousers or I'll feel stupid. I'll feel stupid because I spent so much money on them. So in order not to feel stupid for not wearing a pair of trousers I spent a lot of money on, I look stupid wearing the trousers. So. But I don't yeah, you feel kind of, it. I yeah, just yeah. look it. Well, you, you painted yourself into a corner, really, yeah, there, didn't you? Chotto matte Chotto matte corazai, yeah. So you, uh, you, try, you, you live in England still? You live, or did yeah. you move? I, you, I know you were in France for a while, and then you moved to England. And, uh, now we're mainly in West Sussex. Well, that's a rather nice part of England, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, it's a, no, no, it's a, nice, it's a nice part of the country. Uh-huh. It's uh, an hour and 20 now. minutes southwest of London. Right, that's... No, what the only thing is I've been in the United States for a couple of weeks, and the other day I was in a car, and I went from Lincoln, Nebraska, to Iowa City. I was in a car for four hours, mm -hmm. and I saw... I see more rubbish in West Sussex on, a, let's say, an eighth of a mile of road than I saw four hours of a car. Do you... you know how it is. Everybody there, they throw everything out the car window. Well, in the roadsides are, yeah, littered. I, are carpeted I, with rubbish. Well, I, I go to Scotland where we are fastidious about our roads. Uh, <laughs> it's even worse in Scotland. Is it worse in Scotland? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But people Most people don't know do you, do you Do you do that? No, I, all I do is clean it up. I spend hours every day. Trying to clean up Britain? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And I've done it so much that my council has named a garbage truck after me. Well, congratulations. Choto mato karasai, my friend. Well, that's, uh, that's a garbage truck named after you, but the, here comes the Sedaris rumbling well, down the freeway, or...? I felt like that wasn't very dramatic, you know, like... I, mean, I just didn't think it would look that good, so I had, a, I had to come up with a nickname. So ah. it says Pigpen Sedaris, and then they put a little <laughs> pig underneath it. It looks a little bit better. Is that some kind of, some kind of name you use for another area of your life that we're...? I just can't... Well, I have, a, I, I have an outfit that I wear when I pick up rubbish on the highway. And I do. No, you don't. And I got it in Japan. Really? I got it in Japan. You got a Japanese outfit. To, you better not be picking up garbage in your $1,400 pants, I'll tell you that. Well, I, I quit wearing jeans when I turned 40. Right, I suppose Because I, I just thought, eh, yeah. I'd give up something. So I give up jeans. Because I was still smoking then, and I didn't want to give up smoking, and so I thought, I'll give up jeans and dip. So I quit, <laughs> I quit wearing jeans, and I quit eating dip. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how, but I got a pair that, are you jeans. still off the dip in jeans? Or, no. uh, day at a time, you know? Uh. Uh, Amy talked me into a pair of jeans when I was in Tokyo, too. Oh. So, and <laughs> And they're, they, they, the jeans are with suspenders. They, they came with a pair of suspenders. I would love I to go to Tokyo with you and Amy. I think it would add an, a layer of surreality on top of an already very surreal experience. It, I think we must try and arrange that in some way. Uh, no, I, it, it's fun bringing people. We usually rent an apartment. Oh, that sounds good as yeah, well. Yeah, it's nice. We, we have to uh, take a break. We'll be right back with David Sedaris, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs> I'm here with David Sedaris, who's got a pair of $1,400 pants, apparently. I can't, I can't believe I... Admitted well, to that? But $1,400 trousers in Tokyo is like $30 trousers in the United States. <laughs> I will say this. I did notice the, the, uh, the fashion sense of the Japanese is very elevated. I, I, was, I, was quite, uh, I felt quite dowdy when I was there. You know, they're, they're, they're quite, you know, I went to the Harajuku street uh -huh. and uh, where all the teenagers go. <laughs> Nothing creepy about me walking down there. <laughs> I felt awful. I felt like, did you ever see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang? <laughs> I felt like the child catcher, like, <clears throat> But what I like about Japanese clothes, though, is that they're not like sexy clothes. 
you know, they're not clothes that are designed to, you know, to show off your 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 areas. Yeah, for, for your areas. It's more like, you know, it's more like, wow, really? I never thought to do that with a. I never thought to do that with a, with a blouse or a pair of trousers. Um, so it's more. You're never too old for it. No, no, no. You're never it, too old it, to look like a fool. Well, that's. I think I've proved that often on this show. No, I, I really, so is that the, the most interesting place you've been in? Because you've traveled a great deal. Uh, let's see, I just went to the United Arab Emirates for the first time. How was that? Uh, it was interesting to go to a country where everybody's sober. Everybody's sober, yeah. <laughs> well, everybody's not drinking. I don't know, it depends on what you right. do, do, do. But you like know, you go out on the promenade, <clears throat> like you go to Dubai and you walk out at night and it's people and families walking on, on the, on, you know, along the river at 11, 12 o'clock at night, you know, people with young children, mm. they stay up late there. And you don't get any of that kind of drunk energy that you get, you know, especially in the UK. Yeah, the UK is bad for it. That's yeah. the, the worst public drunkenness I've ever seen. And I've spent time in Boston. Is, uh, <laughs> is in, actually in central London. Central London is... Oh, yeah, the, it's, it's scary. You it's get unbelievable. Sometimes. It's like, they've got to do something about that. I mean, because, you know, when, I think when tourists go there, people are like, this is crazy. There's rivers of vomit. Um, have you been to Which the was the band I used to go and see when I was in London. Have you been to the Philippines? The Philippines, no. Um, have you been other places in Asia? Have you been to China? I've been to Kuala Lumpur. Hmm. And I've been to uh, Sri Lanka, which was fascinating. Have you been there? No. Oh, that's a really interesting place. <laughs> when I was there, I was very drunk, and there was a couple of civil wars going on, so... <laughs> things got a little crazy for a while. Have you been to China? No, I've never been to China. I think China's next for me. After, you know, I go on that trip with you and Amy, and... Uh... Um, I was in China, and I was flying from, uh, I think, from Beijing to Chengdu. And there was this guy in a wheelchair, and there was, he was having some altercation with the gate agent, right? And he leapt out of his wheelchair, and he physically attacked the gate agent. And then it was time for me to board. So I'm boarding. Five minutes later, this guy comes down the aisle. They let him on the plane. After he, Got out of the after wheelchair. he physically attacked the gate agent, they said, okay, you can still... <laughs> Perhaps there's a bigger story that we don't yeah. know about going on. That was so Let, frustrating. Uh, David, I wish we had more time, but we don't. So um, <laughs> I'm going to have to usher you off. Where are you going next on your book tour? Uh, I'm going to Reno, Nevada. That is the center of California literacy. <laughs> and it's in Nevada. Uh, it's probably the center of... Uh, I've been using this book tour, doing what I can to stomp out uh, cargo shorts. <laughs> It would be a good place to get started idea. then. Yeah. Cargo shorts. Cargo shorts? Well, that's, a, that's an American icon you're looking at right there, my friend. Uh, I mean, they haven't been around that long, but what do you really need all those pots? I, I say to people, <laughs> I say to people, get a bag. Do you know what I mean? If you've got, really got that much. Nah, it's comforting to have pockets. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I think. Nothing like a bunch of pockets make a man feel like he's got options. <laughs> well, uh, we gotta go. Uh, the lovely David Sedaris, everybody. <laughs>
you. Thank you so much. Um, I'm, I'm really very excited to be here, and I just wet my pants a teeny <laughs> bit. Um, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so sorry, Chris. Sorry, I did too. Okay. Um, no, I have to admit, I am, I am a little bit nervous. So before the show, I did take a couple of muscle relaxants <laughs> and some ADD meds. <laughs> And then I chase them with two to six energy drinks. <laughs> but I, I, think, I think I'm okay now. You know, it's funny, when I do that, my husband says it makes my breath smell really bad. And I say, huh, that's interesting, you know, because it also makes me not give a crap what he thinks <laughs> about my breath. <laughs> but I think that my breath was really more of an issue when I was dating. Um, I hated, you know, dating, being single, going to bars. Uh, you know, that was in the 1830s. <laughs> um, you know, it wasn't like it is today with online dating where you sort of type in exactly what you want, like um, single transgender farmer. <laughs> um, for me, it was kind of like going on the worst audition ever. So it was, hi, I'm Mindy. I'm here for the role of dirty little whore. <laughs> um, I, dated, I dated this one guy who was so sensitive, you know, he cried at the drop of a hat. So it was like dealing with a baby. So most of the time I'd have to shove a binky in his mouth <laughs> and say, you know, if you stop the crying, I'll let you play with my boobs for five minutes. <laughs> yes, I will. Yes, yes, I will. Um, we did make a sex tape. Uh, he called it Mindy Does Nothing. Anyway, now that I'm married, it's great because my husband does everything. Um, we have two boys, and he's really their primary caregiver. Um, I like to think of myself more as sort of a funny aunt, drops by from time to time. Oh, and I don't know if you haven't already noticed, but I'm, I'm very high maintenance. Um, for example, if my eyelashes don't have that very certain, delicate Bruce Jenner quality to them, <laughs> I can barely get out of bed in the morning, which I like to call exercise. <laughs> um, you all seem like a pretty fit audience. Well, maybe more this side of the room <laughs> than this side. But, you know, I just recently started doing Pilates. Um, they strap me into this contraption, you know, like I'm the lead in gravity. <laughs> and I don't know if you've ever seen the boobs on these women, okay? They never move, right? <laughs> me, I'm flipping mine over my shoulders left <laughs> and right, you know, trying to get into certain positions. <laughs> but, you know, don't, don't be fooled, okay? Because there's a lot that goes on here, okay? There's confetti, sparks shoot out of them. I mean, we're talking pretty much like a, a 4th of July Labor Day parade meets real Jewish hookers of Beverly Hills. Oh, have any of you seen these porn star award shows? Okay, I'm getting emotional. They're fantastic. They start off with these strippers, you know, pretending to be actresses, right, with names like Veronica Volva, oh, Cindy Cervix, and of course we can't forget the great Juggs Johansson. So, of course, the announcer gives it away with the first winner, okay, and he opens the envelope. Oh my God, the winner is Fallopian Tubes Jones. And the crowd, like all of you, goes wild, and they're humping each other ripping each other's clothes off and Fallope takes the stage <laughs> and she's like this thank you so much for this award I am so grateful for the role of plantation girl number three in 12 years of slut <laughs> you are all like family to me and I know this <laughs> because I've slept with most of you. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you so much.